Hi everyone, it's Big Mo again with another statue review. I thought today we'd look at um, a piece that I've had for a couple of years. Um, we'll look at the Sideshow Premium Format Loki. Uh, now when I say Premium Format, that means that he's actually a, a quarter scale piece. So this, like I said, this came out a couple of years ago. Sideshow made uh, 2,000 of these. And he's now sold out, but you can still buy him um, on the secondary market. Uh, I do see him pop up on eBay every now and then. Um, as far as I know, this is the only quarter scale movie Loki that's that's been released. I haven't seen any others uh, from any other studio. Uh, he stands at about 59 centimeters high from the bottom of the base uh, to the top of his horns there. So he's he's a really good he's a really good size. Um, and this uh, depiction of Loki is from uh, the first Avengers movie, I, be uh, I believe. So uh, Loki, for me, is is one of the I think one of the best characters uh, in the Marvel universe. I've uh, absolutely loved him since we first saw him in in the first Thor movie, and um, I think it's great that he's he's been able to pop up in the Avengers movies and um, and be in uh, the other Thor movies as well. And of course, he was just fantastic in, in, in Ragnarok as well, which is, uh, that's my favourite Thor movie. So we'll have a closer look at him. Um, I think Sideshow overall did a, did a very good job with this piece. Um, it looks like they've uh, used three different types of material for this. So you've got your, your PVC. It looks like they've used a bit of PVC for his inner cape. Um, this here, you can see it's got a bit of, just a bit of movement in it. Um... Then you've got your polystone as well, um, which is, uh, I think, you know, his, his hands and his body and the rest of his, um, uh, his costume. And then you've got the, the cape is, is material, so it's nice and, and loose fitting. It's got a bit of wire in it as well, so you can actually, you can actually mold it, which is, which is really good. So we'll start off with the base. Um, I like the theme of the base here. Um, look, I believe it's, it's from Asgard or it's... Uh, obviously from perhaps from a ship, but look if you can let me know in the comments I'd, I'd appreciate it, but I'm going with a I'm going with an Asgard base here So it looks obviously the, the bottom looks modern and you can see what they've done with the bit of blue They've got a bit of blue around there um, Sort of in the grooves which looks really nice. It actually stands out on the display just to have the pop of blue um, Come out so I really like that It looks nice and then on top of the the sort of modern, I guess, spaceship base, you've got uh, a bit of rock as well. And what I like about the rock is you can see a bit of silver pops in there. Like, for example, this piece here, you know, pops with, with a bit of silver and a bit there as well. So you can see different tones in the rock. It almost looks, I guess, like you've got a bit of metal coming through uh, in the base. So uh, it's, a, it's actually a very nice base. And it allows uh, Loki to have one foot up as well. Uh, rather than having two feet um, flat down. So I think the pose is rather good. So we have a close look at his boots here. Uh, the boots look quite good. You can see, um, you know, how the boots are, you know, uh, I've got the creases in there. Um, they've done a good job with that. You can see some gold highlights as we go up uh, to some of the strapping there. So that looks really nice. You can see a bit of gold uh, sort of tips on the top of the boots there as well. So as far as the, the paint and the sculpt goes, um, look really nice. Uh, Sideshow, I, I feel I've done a good, really good job with this piece. And as we go up here, um, we'll just have a look. So there's a couple of pieces that you've got to add on when you get it. You've got to add on this piece here. Um, you uh, you also got to put on the head and you also got to um, put, on the, uh, put in the, the scepter as well. We'll get to the scepter in a minute. I will just keep going up on his body here and I'll show you the detail so you can have a bit of a look. But really, I'm really liking the tones that Sideshow have used here. Um, I think some of the paints are really, really nice. I'll give you a closer look on this side. You can have a look. Um, you can see um, just some of the, like, it looks like, you know, leather, like leather stitching and, you know, some, some of the beading in the outfit that he's wearing there. Um, looks really nice, doesn't it? Like, I can't fault the paint on this. I'm getting in pretty close here, and you can, you can see they've done a really good job. There's no overlapping of, of any of the paint. Um, if we come up to, to the shoulder here, you can see, again, some of the um, shading that they've used here. They've used some nice shading on the gold. 
So really good job. Fantastic job. Very pleased with this. And now we'll have a look at the portraits. So obviously Sideshow's portraits, as we know, are hit and miss. Um, does this look like um, Tom Hiddleston? Well, look, I'm voting yes. I think the portrait looks pretty good. Considering the age of this uh, statue, I think um, this is a pretty good portrait of Tom Hiddleston. His eyes really pop there as well. Uh, I think they've, they've got the eyes right. So I'm really pleased with this portrait. And then um, I love his horns. The horns look really good. Really adds a good dimension to the statue. The horns, as you can see, come out quite a lot and add a bit of height to it. So yeah, very nice. We'll have a quick look at the scepter now. Um, the scepter, to me, probably is... Uh, I think they could have done maybe a little bit better job with the scepter. Um, the scepter is very light when you put it in. I'm also not. I'm not exactly thrilled with how they've done the done the done the stone there. Um, what would have made this statue a ten out of ten for me would have been to have maybe have that light up feature, maybe have the stone light up. I think it would have been uh, a really really nice um, feature to have. But look, the scepter's okay. There's a nice tones um, in the scepter, but like I said, I just I'm not I don't know, I'm not I'm not completely sold on, on on what they did with the scepter. I think for me, when you think of Loki, this is his uh, this is his baby, right? He goes everywhere with the scepter. Um, probably would have seen maybe a bit more effort put into it. But look, I'm I am nitpicking. Because uh, overall, I think the statue is very, very nice. Um, I'll just take you around the back so you can have a quick look at the cloth and how it's put on. So, you know, the cloth's put on. You, you've got to put it on same same as the Thor statue. Um, if you've got the, the, the Thor quarter scale. So you've got to actually put in the cape. And then, you know, you've got to fluff it up, I guess, and make sure that it's falling nicely. Just take you around the back here. You can have a look. See the detail in his, in his hair there. But yeah, the cape falls nicely. No creases in it, which was good. So yeah, I'm um, very pleased to have this in my collection. I was a bit late getting it, but but I got one of the one of the last ones when I saw that it was going low stock. I thought, you know what, I'm going to grab it. I just don't know if anyone's ever going to make another quarter scale Loki, so I thought I'm going to grab this while I can, um, and I'm very glad that I did. So my advice to you is, if you are wanting a quarter scale Loki and you can find this on eBay um, and get it for retail, definitely grab it. If it was me and I didn't have it, and I, I wanted one, I'm, I'm more than happy to, to buy this off eBay at retail. Um, because I think if you're, if you're definitely a Marvel fan, a Thor fan, um, you should add definitely add this to the collection. So there, there you go. That's your Sideshow Premium Format Loki. Hope you enjoyed that review. Um, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'll post more reviews every week. And please uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the portrait. Thanks for watching.